Well, hello everyone, and here with another uh, Lego Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars one. And today's one is on the Droid Tri Fighter and Clove Scout Walker sets from 2005. <coughs> so on the on the front of each booklet, you see a picture of the set that yeah, there is, and the logos, set number, and that lava Darth Vader border suiting for Revenge of the Sith. Uh, on the back of this one is ad for the Star Wars video game from then. Ad for Shop at Home and Lego Club. And then ad for the entire Revenge of the Sith wave from 2005, of course. And then a couple of crazy alternate builds for this one and the last step. Just how you can arrange the stickers on it, but it doesn't matter much. <coughs> so first of all, for the figs is get a clone scout, or clone pilot, or just regular any kind of clone trooper. With some designs that kind of well hold up. Oh well, but I've heard it was some good back printing, so again, well holds up, but I think the helmet piece and this whole figure might be exclusive to this set, but under and it's just plain black and can see right through it, which some of the recent sets have done that today, and kind of about it there, and next of which is one of the flying buzz droids. As you see, with the RGD2 heads to the side, saying kind of a Technic build, and with the battle droid legs and a buzz saw there, which saw that in the opening of the film. And built quite nicely, and kind of similar to some of the recent 2014 versions of this. And that's about it with that. <coughs> so, first of all, is the uh, Clone Scout Walker itself. Hang on. So, first of all, I went for the feet. It's kind of all hollowed and spaced out with these, like space or classic space canopy pieces. But a lot of the like venting grill pieces all around it acting as greebles. But as for the legs, so which also a lot of dish pieces are there. You can bend them all the way back and quite far back, but not much forward. So kind of like with most of the ATST walkers. And then as for the upper area, with a few plates for it, and unfortunately doesn't rotate the top part. But as for the turret of which can turn by itself and the upper area, or entire upper area as well, and has like a odd modified slope piece with some interesting prints to it. Uh, not sure how it can, how in mocking it can be used, and, but besides that, have a few of those things on the sides along with one of those like old style blasters for your clone trooper fig, fig to hold on to. And uh, of course, enough space to fit your clone trooper onto, and do have a pair of the like paddle pieces. But just acting as extra greebling and a little antenna to the side. As for a little comparison, is with the recent uh, 20th anniversary edition from last year. I see. 
believe this was around 10 and this was 30. So as he has a lot more pieces to it and of course the snot has well taken over and at least it has some more detailing to it. And of course, although that was a common thing with these older sets is being kept a small price range and very few pieces were used to it. And of course, one of which was replaced with a stud shooter. And which had just one antenna compared to two. But at least it's forgiven for today's standards. And so now on to the other set of which the Droid Tri-Fire. One that hasn't been redone until about 20 or 2009 and 14. And of course got a little better with those. And of course what's often annoying is building the same uh, a joint thing three times, but it's all forgiven. But as the front upper area, which has a cone and a blaster onto it, and a few couple of Bonacle Borak guys to the side, but acting as like extra source to it. So, at least good use of some of these pieces in dark blue and sand blue. The same with these ones as well. And a lot of stickering to it, like these ones here. And as from the back area, it has those dish pieces in orange, in trans orange, of course. And how you can fold these out. And it's enough space to fit your buzz droid into it, which I don't think, which probably doesn't happen in the movie or in anything. But it's probably there just for extra, for playability. And yeah. And at least fits well into it. And you have the, like, like, extra blasters, which made of a lightsaber rod and a cone, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict on these two. So overall, I think these of which a uh, pretty good or kind of good pair of sets for 2005. Like even though they do come with a single figure for each one of them, but it's good. But at least something that you can get multiples of, make an army out of, and yeah, or add to your clone droid armies, and yeah. And if you still have these sets from back then, well. I hope you had some good memories of them, and for those of you who haven't and still have access access to these sets, well, go ahead and get them, like on eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it for this video, and thanks for watching.